Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use Azure Bastion host to connect to Azure VMs without using public IPs. Azure Bastion service is a fully platform managed platform as a service that we provision inside the virtual network. It provides secure and seamless RDP connectivity to the virtual machine directly into the Azure portal over SSL. When we connect uh, through Azure Bastion, the virtual machines do not need a public IP address. So the job of the Bastion host is to secure RDP and SSH connectivity to all the VMs in a virtual network in which it is provisioned. Using Azure Bastion protects the uh, protects Azure Virtual Machine from exposing RDP SSH ports to the outside world while still providing secure access using RDP. With Azure Bastion, we can connect to the virtual machine directly from the Azure portal and we do not need any additional client, agent or a piece of software. So how do we implement Azure Bastion? We will go to the portal.azure.com and take it from there. I'm on to the portal and I am going to open the Azure Cloud Shell. I'm going to click here and I am going to launch the Azure Cloud Shell. I'm logged on to the Cloud Shell. Now I'm going to create the Azure group, the resource group, I'm sorry. New AZ resource group location would be East US would be my resource group. That is done. Now I'm going to create a VM and a VNet to test the Azure Bastion service. All right, I'm going to copy paste one command which is going to create. Okay. It is creating the Azure resources. It's going to take time. I'm going to pause the video and come back. Here it is. I go on to my virtual networks. All right. This is my VNet. And I click on Subnet. And you see, I have a My Subnet created. Here, uh, the default one, I'm going to click on create a new subnet here and I'm going to name is name this, this subnet is Azure Bastion subnet Azure Bastion subnet and I'm going to keep the range to 192.168.2.0 slash 24 and I'm going to leave rest of the settings as default and I'm going to click on Okay, this will create a new subnet. Azure Bastion subnet successfully created. Wonderful. Now I'm going to create one Bastion host. Now if I open again portal.azure.com and on the home screen, I'm going to click on to create a new resource here. Here it is. Click on create a resource. And I'm going to type in uh, Bastion here to, okay, I see this. I click on it, click on create. It will come up. Okay. After I click on create resource group, I'm going to select the one that I created at the beginning, my resource group, click on it and name would be Bastion, see if it's available. Okay. Location would be, region would be East US. Perfect. Virtual network would be my VNet and subnet would be Azure Bastion subnet. Public IP address, the public IP of the Bastion resource, resource on which RDP SSH will be accessed. It happens on port 443. Okay, here we're going to create uh, 
a new IP address and that would be the new VN uh, that would be in the same region. I'm going to click on this would be the name of the IP address. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on create to create a bastion host. It's initializing the deployment. It will, it will finish in few minutes or few seconds. And then we'll do. Okay, now after this is done, I have to connect to a VM using the bastion host that I created in the beginning of this video through the Azure CLI from uh, here right okay let's see how it is going let me navigate that virtual machine that I created here. so you can navigate onto the dashboard uh, with the cloud shell open you can just drag this down this is your virtual machine that you created in the beginning click on it when it comes up we'll click on connect tab to connect to this vm but we'll connect to it through the bastion host that is getting created right my deployment has been completed I'm gonna click on go to resource and this is my bastion host I go to my VM onto the VM I click on connect and I click on bastion I'm not using RDP or SSH I clicked on to click through bastion okay now it is asking me for my username and credential click on connect pop a blocker and click on always allow let's see what it does it says connecting this is the login screen of my VM that I created this is all happening in the browser and as you see it is the browser the URL and I can see my server manager and uh, and if I go here I do command click on my command prompt I do host name my VM so that is how you connect to a VM using the Bastion host without using the public IP address of your VM to connect. I hope this was informative to all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.